PepsiCo is the largest food and beverage company in North America and the second largest in the world. When hiring the candidates, PepsiCo would like to make sure that they get the most qualified candidate. This is why they use pre-employment hiring exams to make sure candidate is the best fit for the position. There are various assessment test questions PepsiCo uses based on the job candidate might be applying for. The examples would include aptitude test questions, personality test questions, time management test questions, situational judgment test questions, and a lot of others. Let me share with you in this video some examples of the questions we frequently see on the PepsiCo test. Here's an amazing question to test your analytical skills and spatial reasoning. You're presented with the three-fourths of the circle, and you need to find the missing quarter. You have to select the missing item out of four possible choices. Choices A, B, C, and D. Take a close look, look at the colors, look at other elements to see if you can come up with the solution. Are you ready? But I'm going to move forward and share with you my version of the answer. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. If you frequent visitor to this channel, which you probably are, you were well aware that to solve these types of challenges, you need to understand the pattern. And the pattern here is that with each clockwise move, color segment moves to the outside. Let's look at the example. For three segments that we see on the screen, let's assign the clock values. For example, we will have 5 o'clock, 7 o'clock, and 10 o'clock sections. Now, let's take a close look at the green section at 5 o'clock. When we move to 7 o'clock section, it becomes second from the outside. And when we move to the 10 o'clock section, it becomes the most outside section. But color moving to the outside is not the only pattern here. The second pattern is that with each clockwise move, number of dots in each section alternates between 3 and 4, but only on the most outside segments. Let's take a close look. If you look at the yellow segment at 5 o'clock, you see that there are 3 dots. Then we move at the 7 o'clock segment, and you see that the blue one has 4 dots. Next one, green segment, has 3 dots again, which means that the missing section should have 4 dots. Knowing these two patterns, let's select the missing section. If we follow the pink segment in the 7 o'clock section, you see that it's in the third position. When we move to 10 o'clock section, it's in the second position, which means that in the missing segment, it should be in the most outside position. There are three choices that match this logic. Choices A, C, and D. All of them have pink segment on the outside but only choice A has four dots on the outside. So the correct answer is choice A. Did you get to the same solution? If not, please make sure to post your answer and rationale in comments. Most likely, you will not be able to pass the test without getting question similar to this one. You're presented with the three sets of numbers. Each set has a three numbers in the group and one number is missing. The first set has numbers 6, 4, and 34. The second set has numbers 8, 5, and 53. And the last set has numbers 9, 2, and the final last number in the third set is missing. You need to calculate the missing number and select it out of four possible choices. Choice A, 34. Choice B, 29. Choice C, 63. Choice D, 41. Take a close look to see if you can complete the calculations. I'm going to give you a quick hint. See if there's a relationship between the top two numbers and the bottom number. But this is about as much as I'm going to give you, because I'm moving forward to share with you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. I think there is a very interesting and unusual pattern here between the top two numbers and the bottom number. In fact, the lower number is calculated as a result of multiplications plus the sum of additions of the upper numbers. Let's look at the example. For example, the first set of numbers is calculated as 6 multiplied by 4 plus sum of 6 and 4, which would equal 24 plus 10 and equals 34. The next set of numbers is calculated as 8 multiplied by 5 plus sum of 8 and 5, which would equal 40 plus 13, which would be equal to 53. 
This allows us to do the calculations on the final set and the missing number. 9 multiplied by 2 plus the sum of 9 and 2 equals 18 plus 11 and equals 29. So the correct answer here is choice B, 29. Did you figure it out? Please make sure to post your answer and solution if you have a different one in comments. Here's a phenomenal question where you need to determine the next item in the sequence. You're presented with the series of squares. Each square has different shapes inside. Three squares do have shapes and the fourth square is missing and you need to select it out of four possible choices. The choices are A, B, C, and D. Take a close look to see if you can identify the missing item. Did you figure it out? See if you need to pause this video to get more time and solve the solution. Because on my end, I am moving forward to share with you my version of the answer. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. If you take a close look at the shapes inside the square, each shape has a position 1, 2, and 3, going from left to right. You can also notice that there are three different shapes inside the boxes. A field circle, a white circle, and a diamond. Another important consideration is that the colors of the circles do not change. But unlike colors of the circles, the color of the diamond changes from filled to empty and then from empty to filled. You can also notice that all shapes shift one position to the left. The first shape becomes the last, then changes position to the middle and then back to the first position. Now, as you learned about the pattern, you can calculate that the answer here is choice B. Hopefully you've nailed this question on your own and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. And now here's a surprise question for you to try your skills. Instead of giving you the answer, I'm going to ask you to calculate the answer and post your solution in comments. You're presented with four shapes. Three shapes are fully populated with numbers and the fourth shape has the middle number missing. You need to detect the pattern and calculate the missing number out of four different choices. Choice A, 22. Choice B, 23. Choice C, 25. And then last but not least, choice D, 24. Take a close look to see if you can do the calculations. And once ready, please make sure to post your answer in comments. This would allow me to share with you the final answer and give you my feedback. Thanks for participating and good luck solving this challenge. Calculating missing items is one of my favorite questions, especially considering the fact that calculations are very simple. You're presented with two rows of values. The first row contains values 1, C, 5, and then comes the missing value. And the second row contains values A, 3, E, and then comes the missing value. You need to select the calculated combination out of four different choices. Choice A, G7, choice B, B3, choice C, F6, and last but not least, choice D, H8. Take a close look to see if you can do the calculations. Consider pausing the video to better understand the question, because on my end, I am moving forward to share with you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to show in comments. I believe the correct answer here is choice A, G7. And here's why. I see the pattern that every letter here is skipped. Let's take a look. If we start with the bottom letter A, then comes letter B, but then we see letter C in the second column. Then comes letter D, which is skipped, and then we see the letter E, which means that the letter F will be skipped, and we will see the letter G. Same is true for the numbers, because only odd numbers are displayed. We see numbers 1, 3, and 5, numbers 2, 4, and 6 are skipped, which means that the missing number is 7. This is why I believe the correct choice here is choice A, G7. Did you figure it out? Or maybe you have a better solution? Please make sure to post your answer and solution in comments. This is one of my favorite questions because it tests a variety of different skills in the test. Baseball bat and the ball together cost $1.10. But the bat is $1 more expensive than the ball. How much does the ball cost? 
you need to select one out of four possible choices. Choice A, five cents. Choice B, one dollar and five cents. Choice C, one dollar. And last but not least, choice D, two dollar and one cent. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the answer. The answer to this question is very simple, but not obvious. The correct choice here is choice A. The cost of the poll is five cents. But how do you get to the correct solution mathematically? Let me teach you the magic trick behind this problem. Let's build a quick equation. The cost of a ball would be X. And since the bat costs $1 more, the cost of the bat would be X plus $1. Now we can take advantage of the fact that the ball and the bat together cost $1.10. Bat plus ball would be equal X plus X plus 1 and would be equal $1.10 which would mean that 2x plus 1 would be equal $1.10. If we simplify, we would find out that 2x equals 10 cents, which basically means 2 ball equals 10 cents, which means that the cost of 1 ball, which means that the x equals 5 cents. That tells us that the cost of the ball is 5 cents and the cost of the bat is $1.05. Let's verify the main condition of this problem. Bat costs one dollar more than a ball which is correct five cent plus one dollar and five cents equals one dollar and ten cents and if we subtract one dollar and five cents minus five cents it would be equal to one dollar so the correct answer here is choice a cost of the ball is five cents hopefully you've nailed this problem and now know how to solve similar problems on the test I get a lot of questions on how assessment tests are used in the hiring process. I would like to highlight three important areas companies use assessment tests. They use them for hiring and employment decisions. For example, hiring manager or HR might choose to test the candidate before hiring them to ensure candidate is a good fit for the position. Second way to use it is grow talent inside the organization. For example, some companies use the test before making hiring decisions to promote the candidate. And last but not least, the third way to use it is to determine levels of motivation. For example, if your company is looking to implement a new system or technology, it might be helpful to assess people on their interests and motivation related to this technology. And now let's continue and get you ready for the test. Here is a phenomenal question where you need to find the missing number. You are presented with almost 3x3 three three shape, which contains evergreen trees, numbers and the question mark. Based on what you see, you need to calculate the missing number. And you have four different choices. Choice A, 2. Choice B, 7. Choice C, 3. And choice D, 4. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the logic and the answer. On my end, I am moving forward to share with you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. As you might have guessed, what we see on the picture are mathematical expressions. For example, the sum of two evergreen trees is tree, which is represented by the top row. The same is true for the middle column. Sum of two evergreen trees equals to six, which means that one evergreen tree equals to three. Now we can calculate the missing number, which would be the result of 5 minus 3, which would be equal to 2. So the correct answer here is choice A, 2. Did you come up with the different answer? Please make sure to post your answer and rationale in comments. To get ready for an assessment test, you want to make sure that you practice with the tests that most accurately resemble the actual assessment. This is why we partnered with the best vendor in the industry, Job Test Prep known for accuracy in their practice assessments. Job test prep tests are designed to simulate the actual employment assessment used by many companies. One of the key advantages of using job test prep tests is that they closely mirror the format, content, and difficulty level of the actual assessment tests. To start practicing using job test prep assessments, please type the link in your browser howtoanalyzedata.net slash job test prep or use links in the description of this video. And now let's continue to get you ready for the assessment test. Here is the problem some people might find challenging, but in reality, it's very easy to solve. 
you are presented with the circle, broken down into eight sections. In each section there is a number, and in one section number is missing, and you need to calculate the missing number. If we start with the 8 o'clock, the numbers that are present are 39, 5, 9, 8, 13, 15, 3, and then comes the missing number. You need to calculate the missing number out of four possible choices. Choice A, 20. Choice B, 24. Choice C, 30. And choice D, 36. Take a close look, maybe pause this video to see if you can calculate the solution. I hope you did it successfully and have your selection, because I am moving forward to share with you my version of the answer. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. I believe the correct answer is choice B, 24. And here's why. I think the number on the opposite sides of the circle sections are three times larger than the numbers on the other side. Let's take a close look. For example, the numbers on the opposite sides of the 5 o'clock section and 10 o'clock sections are 3 and 9. And 9 is 3 times larger than 3. The next set of numbers is 5 and 15. And 5 multiplied by 3 equals 15. The next set is 13 and 39. And obviously, if you multiply 13 by 3, you will get to 39. Let's take a look at the missing number. Because number 8, which is on the opposite section, cannot be a result of multiplication of any number by 3. This means that the missing number is a result of 8 multiplied by 3 equals 24. This is why I think the correct answer here is choice B, 24. Did your calculations lead you to the same answer? If they didn't, please make sure to share your answer and solution in comments. Improving your pattern recognition skills is the key to pass the test. It will help you to solve problems faster and better understand the test format. It also enhances your critical thinking skills and boosts your confidence. There are many different types of numerical patterns, each one with the unique characteristics and applications. Let me give you some examples of the most common numerical patterns. One of the most popular patterns is arithmetic sequence. The arithmetic sequence is the sequence of numbers where each term is obtained by adding a fixed number called the common difference to the previous term. For example, numbers 2, 5, 8, 11, 14 represent arithmetic sequence with a common difference of 3. Number 2 on the list would be geometric sequence. A geometric sequence is a sequence of numbers where each term is obtained by multiplying the previous term by a fixed number called a common ratio. Let's look at the example. Numbers 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32 represent geometric sequence with a common ratio of 2. And last but not least on my list is Fibonacci sequence. Fibonacci sequence is a sequence of numbers where each term is obtained by adding the two previous terms together, starting with 0. For example, the first 10 terms in the Fibonacci sequence would be 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, and 34. Do you know any other interesting numerical patterns I didn't mention here? Please make sure to post them in comments so we can all learn. And now let's continue and get you ready for the assessment test. Here's a tricky problem which you might find challenging to solve. You're presented with three images and you need to find the missing number. All three images have berms and evergreen trees on top of the berms. First two of the images have numbers 15 and 50 at the bottom, and the third image is missing the number and instead has a question mark, which you need to calculate and select out of four possible choices. Choice A, 74. Choice B, 98. Choice C, 109. And last but not least, choice D, 117. Take a close look, maybe pause this video to see if you can come up with the solution. On my end, I'm moving forward to share with you my version. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. As you might have calculated, the correct answer here is choice D, 117. Let's take a close look why. If you take a close look at the images, you will see that each image contains trees, each tree contains a certain number of branches, 
and trees are placed on the berms. The pattern is calculated as number of trees multiplied by number of branches on the trees and you incrementally add the number of berms to calculate the number at the bottom. Let's look closely at each one of the images. First image has two trees with seven branches and one berm and the calculation would be two multiplied in parentheses three plus four plus one which would be an equivalent of 14 plus 1 equals 15. Second image has four trees with 12 branches and two berms. And the calculations will be 4 multiplied in parentheses 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 2. And then you add 2 to the calculated value. The end result of this calculation for image 2 will be 50. For the third image, which has six trees with 19 branches and three berms, the calculations will be 6 multiplied 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 and then you add 3 to the calculated total. The end result of it 117. Do you have a better solution to solve this challenge? Please make sure to post your answer and rationale in comments. I have a surprise for you. You need to solve the expression and find the missing number. You have three full expressions. Glove plus glove equals 20. Glove plus two socks equals 38. Glove plus sock plus hat equals 39. And the last expression where you need to calculate the missing number is hat multiplied by sock plus glove equals the missing number. So what is the missing number? You need to calculate and select out of four different choices. Choice A, 135. Choice B, 220. Choice C, 165 and choose D 360. Do you know the answer? Once you calculate it, please make sure to post it in comments. This would allow me to give you my feedback. Thanks for participating and good luck. Here's an amazing question to test your math skills. You need to calculate the value by multiplying the number of coins in the sand clock by the number of dollar signs at the top and at the bottom. And calculations should be one of four possible choices. Choice A, 190. Choice B, 200. Choice C, 210. And choice D, 230. Take a close look, maybe do mental math to see if you can come up with the solution. The key here, though, is not to overthink it. To solve it correctly, we need to count the coins. Let's start by counting coins at the top. There should be seven coins. One, two, three four, five, six, and seven. There are eight coins at the bottom. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And there are seven dollar signs at the top and seven dollar signs at the bottom. So the total calculation would be 15 coins multiplied by 14 dollar signs and the total would be 210. So the correct answer here is choice C, 210. Did you solve it on your own? Please make sure to share your experiences in comments. A lot of viewers on this channel ask me how to increase their IQ scores. Even though methods might be different from person to person, let me share with you three ways that help me to stay in shape. I love listening to classical music. I believe that this helps improve your analytical skills as well as spatial reasoning skills. Also, I like playing sports and I go to the gym to do vigorous exercises. I think this helps me to increase oxygen levels in the blood, as well as to keep your brain more active. After a certain age, staying active helps you to increase your reactions as well as IQ. And last but not least, I like to stay hydrated. I drink a lot of green tea, Earl Grey tea, coffee, and vitamin water throughout the day to help me stay energized. You can use these tips to prepare specifically for the test or to change your daily habits and stay sharper day after day. Do you have tips of your own on how to keep your brain in shape? Please make sure to share and comment so we can all learn. And now let's continue and get you ready for the test. Here's a puzzling question which you might find difficult to solve, but the solution is really simple. You are presented with four scales and you need to calculate the missing number. First scale contains three pentagons on the left and number 90 on the right. Second scale contains one pentagon and two bagels on the left and number 50 on the right. 
third scale contains two pentagons, one circle and one bagel on the left, and number 90 on the right. And then the last scale contains one pentagon, one circle, and two bagels on the left, and then missing number on the right. You need to select the missing number out of four different choices. Choice A, 60. Choice B, 65. Choice C, 70. And then choice D, 75. Take a close look to see if you can do the calculations and come up with the right solution. On my end, I'm moving forward to share with you my version of the answer. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. I think the key to solve this challenge is to understand what is being asked. You see shapes on the left of the scale and the number on the right, which means that the combination of the shapes is equal to the number. To solve the problem, you need to go from scale to scale and calculate the shape's value. Let's start with the scale 1. It has three pentagons on the left and number 90 on the right, which means that each pentagon has a value of 30. Second scale contains one pentagon and then two bagels, and the combination of these shapes equals number 50. We already know the value of pentagon, which is 30. All we need to do is divide the remainder of the calculations 50 minus 30, which equals to 20, by 2, because there are two bagels, and calculate the value of bagel, which is 10. On the next scale, we have two pentagons, one circle, and one bagel, and the combination of the shapes equals to 90. Let's do the math. 30 plus 30, which is the value of two pentagons, plus 10 equals 70, which means that the circle equals 90 minus 70, which equals to 20. Now we know the values of all the shapes. Pentagon equals 30, bagel equals 10, and then circle equals 20. And we can calculate the missing number. 30 plus 20 plus 10 plus 10 equals 70, which means the correct answer is choice C, 70. Did you come up with the same solution? If not, please make sure to post your answer and rationale in comments. Here's one of my favorite questions, which requires you to use your critical skills and imagination. You need to find the missing number, and you're presented with three different expressions. First expression is 13 multiplied by 13 equals 16. Second expression is 15 multiplied by 15 equals 36. And last expression, the one that's missing the number, is 17 multiplied by 17 equals missing number. You have four different choices to select from. Choice A, 56. Choice B, 64. Choice C, 72. And choice D, 81. Take a close look. Maybe pause this video to see if you can come up with the answer. Did you figure it out? The answer is so simple, so when you learn it, you'll be very surprised. Because the correct answer, choice B, 64, is calculated very easily. The pattern here is that instead of using traditional numbers and calculations, you need to add the digits and then multiply them to get to the correct solution. So let's look at the first expression. 13 multiplied by 13 equals 16. In reality, you need to sum up 1 plus 3, then multiply at another expression 1 plus 3, which would be 4 multiplied by 4, which would be equal 16. For second expression, you need to add in parentheses 1 plus 5, multiplied another expression in parentheses 1 plus 5, would be equal 6 multiplied by 6, which would be equals 36. To calculate final expression, you need to add 1 plus 7, which would be equal to 8, multiplied by another expression, 1 plus 7, which would be equal to 8 multiplied by 8, and it would be equal to choice B, 64. What was your experience solving this challenge? Please describe in comments. And if you're getting ready for the assessment test and need to get prepared, please make sure to check out the link to the ebook in the description of this video. As you might be well aware, the fastest way to learn and prepare for the test is by doing hands-on practice exercises. This is why we prepared practice materials for you to download so you can learn faster. All you need to do is to navigate to howtoanalyzedata.net slash resources. You can type this link directly in your browser or follow the link in the description of this video. Thank you for your endorsement, support, and patronage. And now let's continue to get you ready for the test. 
Let's look at the very interesting question, which really makes you think. You're presented with three shapes, and the fourth shape is missing. You need to select the missing shape out of four different choices. Choices A, B, C, and D. Take a close look at the pattern of shapes to see if you can come up with the solution. On my end, I'm not going to delay it, and I'm moving forward to share with you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you think differently, please make sure to share your answer in comments. As you might have guessed, the key is to define the pattern. And pattern consists of multiple elements. Pattern-defining items are circles, triangle, and checks. They look like Latin symbol V. If you look closely at the outer circle, it's filled with triangles and those checks, which are moving clockwise. The inner circle also has smaller circles inside. Let's name our items in the original pattern as item 1, item 2, item 3, and then the missing item we will name item 4. This will help us to define the pattern. Number of circles increments by 1 in items 1 through 3. For example, item 1 has 2 circles, item 2 has 3 circles, 1, 2, and 3, and then item 3 has 4 circles, which means that item 4 should have five circles. Well, guess what? I was so excited to select the final answer just based on this finding, but then I noticed that all choices A, B, C, and D, they all have five small circles inside. Which leads us to conclusion that number of checks between triangles defines the final answer. If you look closely, number of checks alternates from 2 in item 1 to 3 in item 2, then back to 2 in item 3, and should probably be 3 in item number 4. This is why the correct answer is choice B, because it has 3 checks in between triangles. Let's look at why other choices are incorrect. Choice A only has 2 checks in between triangles. Choice C has a pattern of 9 checks in between 2 triangles at the top and at the bottom. And choice D has a pattern of 2 triangles going one after another in between the checks. So, this is my version, and if you have a better solution, please don't hesitate and make sure to share it in comments. And in case you're getting ready for the test, please make sure to check the links in the description of this video for additional resources. I love this question because what's happening here is so unusual. We need to calculate the missing number. And we need to do it in the ball that's in the middle of the sequence. We see the ball that's rolling from the top of the stairs to the bottom of the stairs. And as it rolls, it changes the color inside and it changes the number. In the top position, it's a green ball inside and it has the numbers 5, 7, 8, 2, 6, 9. Then as it rolls, it becomes a blue ball and the numbers change to 2, 8, 7, 5, 1, 5. Then it becomes the yellow ball with the missing number. As it continues, the numbers we see are 8, 7, 5, 8 in the pink ball. As it rolls, we see the brown ball with the numbers 7, 8, 1, 3. And then as it continues to roll to the last step, it's a purple ball with the numbers 8, 7, 4 inside. We need to calculate the missing number and select out of four possible choices. Choice A. 28 962 choice b 57 8 9 1 choice c 28 4 21 and last but not least choice d 57 8 26 take a close look to see if you can complete the calculations and on my side i am moving forward to share with you my version of the solution and obviously if you have a better way to solve it please make sure to post in comments I believe the correct answer here is choice D, 57, 8, 26. To understand why, let's look at the pattern. As ball rolls from first position to the second, and we transform from digits 5, 7, 8, 2, 6, 9 to digits 2, 8, 7, 5, 1, 5, we need to understand the logic. As you might have suspected, the colors are not used in the pattern and they are there just to deceive you. Only numbers are important. And to complete the transformational pattern, we need to do it in three steps. Step one, 
we need to exclude two digits on the right and reverse the order of the remaining digits. For example, original number is 5782 and then two digits 69. We separate 69 and then reverse the order and number becomes 2875 and then we do remaining calculations with the numbers 6 and 9. And the calculations are very simple. We basically add 6 plus 9 and end result of it is 15. Then we concatenate 2875 and 15. So the end resulting number is 287515. As ball continues rolling, we repeat the calculations and get to the answer of D, 57826. The answer is very obvious, but only if you know it. Or guess it, as we would have to do in our case. Ready or not, I would like to move forward to share with you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. If you know letters of the English alphabet, the next logical choice would be letter E. Because after A, B, C, and D comes letter E. But choice E is not on the list. But using a little bit of creativity, you can assemble a letter E by combining a dash, which is already in place, with already available choice of letter F. So the correct choice here is answer F. Hopefully you've nailed this question on your own, got a little bit of laugh, and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. If you find the content of the channel helpful, you can help us by becoming a member. For example, if you're getting ready for employment test and might wonder how you can download the value pack, we'll give you one reason to download and save. And this is by becoming a YouTube member. For example, if you become Platinum member, you can download Employment Assessment Test Preparation Bundle. We also frequently publish exclusive content for members only to help you stay sharp and get ready for the test. To become a member, all you need to do is to navigate to howtoanalyzedata.net slash membership. You can type the link directly in your browser or follow the link in the description of this video. Thank you for your endorsement, support, and patronage. And now let's continue and get you ready for the test. Here's the very unusual question, which tests your analytical skills, pattern recognition skills, as well as spatial reasoning. You're presented with three very unusual shapes. You have a rainbow consisting of four sections on the top and then five squares at the bottom of this shape. Each shape has a unique set of different colors. You need to detect the pattern and based on that, recognize shape number four out of four possible choices. Choices A, B, C, and D. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the answer. This is one of the tough questions. If you are having troubles, maybe pause this video to see if you can come up with the solution. On my end, I am moving forward to share with you my thought process and my solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. When I was describing this question, I gave you a tip. This object is broken down into two parts. The rainbow section has its own pattern, and the series of squares at the bottom has its own pattern. So there are two patterns here in this shape, but detecting one is not enough. You have to detect both patterns. To make things easier, let's focus on the bottom pattern first. Let's focus on the squares. If you look closely and focus on the green square, you see that in the sequence one shape, green square in the position number five and in sequence two object it moves to the position number one and all other objects shift to the right if we continue to follow green square you see that in the sequence number three object the green square in the position number two so if we continue this logic that green square should be in the position number three in the middle of all squares but guess what if you look at the possible choices you see that in all four choices, choices A, B, C, and D, green square is in the middle. So this is not much help. This is why to get to the correct solution, we need to focus on the top sections of the rainbow. And if you look closely at the top sections, you see that there are four colors, one color per each section of the rainbow, colors one, two, three, and four. And if we compare sequence one and sequence two objects, you can see closely that the sections of the rainbow continuously move to the inside. For example, 
let's follow the red section of the rainbow, which is present on the outside in the sequence 1. You see that in the sequence 2, this is the second from the outside section. And then in the sequence 3, it becomes third section on the inside. So to find the correct solution, we need to look for the red section being the most inside section of the rainbow, which matches choice D. This was a very tough challenge. Hopefully you've nailed this one and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. Here's one of my favorite questions where you test your mental skills as well as attention to details. You are presented with series of equations and you need to calculate the missing number. The first equation is glove plus glove equals 20. Second equation is glove plus two socks equals 38. Third equation is glove plus sock plus hat equals 39. And then the final equation where you have the missing number is one hat multiplied by one sock plus one glove equals the missing number. You need to calculate and select the missing number out of four possible choices. Choice A, 135. Choice B, 220. Choice C, 165. And choice D, 360. Take a close look to see if you can use your mental powers to calculate the missing number. On my end, I am moving forward to share with you my version of the solution. And if you have a better way to solve it by using your mental powers, please make sure to share in comments. Obviously, to solve this challenge, you need to find the numbers associated with each object. You need to find the numbers for glove, for sock, and for the hat. Let's look at each expression in more details. Since two gloves equals 20, one glove is equal to 10, because 20 divided by 2 equals 10. Let's go to the second expression. One glove and two socks equals 38. Let's do the math to calculate what's the value of the sock. 38 minus 10, which is the calculated value for one glove, and then divided by 2 equals 14, which means that numerical value associated with one sock is 14. Let's go to the third expression. One glove plus one sock plus one hat equals 39. We can calculate the value associated with hat. It equals 15, because 39 minus 10 minus 14 equals 15. Now we are ready to calculate the missing number. And to do that, we need to multiply 15 by 14, which would be equal to 10, and add 10. This is the value of hat multiplied by sock plus the value of glove. So the correct answer here is choice B, 220. Do you have a better way to solve it? Please make sure to show your observations and suggestions in comments. Here's the practice question for you to test your skills and knowledge. In this question, I am not going to share with you the solution, but instead I am going to ask you to solve this challenge on your own and post your answer in comments. This way I can give you my feedback. Take a close look to see if you can find the missing value. Missing value is represented by the question mark in a shape that contains numbers around the shape as well as one number inside. The numbers you see are 12, 42, 129, and then there is a number 3 in the middle. You have four different choices to choose from. Choice A, 229. Choice B, 287. Choice C, 352. And then choice D, 390. Take a close look to see if you can recognize the pattern and solve this challenge. And once ready, please make sure to post your answer in comments so I can give you my feedback. Thanks for participating and good luck! Here's an amazing question to test your business math skills. You're presented with the set of numbers in the compass-like figure, and you need to add up all the numbers inside the shapes and then divide the sum by 2. You need to calculate what would be the result of this calculation, and you have four different choices. Choice A, 9. Choice B, 12. Choice C, 18. And choice D, 24. Do you see the answer? Give yourself a little bit of time, maybe pause this video and give yourself 10 to 20 seconds to do the calculations. I am pretty sure you figured it out, so I am moving forward to share with you my version and obviously if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. The math here is pretty straightforward. You need to do 7 minus 3 plus 9 plus 5 in parentheses 
and then the divide the sum by 2. The result would be 18 divided by 2, which would be equal to 9. And this is my choice for the correct answer. What's interesting about this question is that there's a lot of way to get to the incorrect answer. For example, if you forget to divide by 2, there is an answer for that. Also, if you don't see the negative number and forget to divide by 2, there is a choice for that as well. And if you just forget the negative number, there is a choice for that as well. Which tells me that you have to read the instructions carefully. Hopefully you're one of those people who does it all the time and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. And now I have a question for you to test your skills. You're presented with the series of objects and you need to determine next object in the sequence. Please choose one of the following four choices. Choices A, B, C, and D. Do you see the correct answer? Please make sure to post your version in comments. This would allow me to give you my feedback. Thanks for participating and good luck. Here's a very interesting question to test your spatial reasoning. You are presented with partial square and you need to find the missing shape to build the full square. You have four different choices to choose from to complete the square. Choices A, B, C, and D. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the answer. And on my end, I am moving forward to share with you the correct solution. As you might have figured out, the correct choice here is choice D. And to get to this answer, you need to look at the shape which fits perfectly to match the edges. Since this is the 5x5 five five square, choice D is the perfect shape because it matches perfectly to create a full square. Hopefully you've nailed this question on your own and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. Here is an amazing question where we need to find the missing number. You're presented with the tree looking like structure and it has the numbers in the circles on the top. The numbers are, if we start from the left, 50, 216, 880 and then comes the missing number. You need to calculate and select the missing number out of four possible choices. Choice A, 1290. Choice B, 2565. Choice C, 2941. And last but not least, choice D, 3536. I'm gonna give you a quick hint. Take a close look to see what exactly do you see on this picture. And you see circles, you see stamps, and you see numbers. And here's another consideration. Do you think the fact that circles have different colors matters or it doesn't? Give yourself 10 to 15 seconds to see if you can figure it out. On my end, I am moving forward to share with you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. The pattern here is rather simple, but it takes a little bit of time to detect it. If we start from the left, from the smallest number, and go clockwise, the next number is calculated as a previous value multiplied by the total number of lines plus total number of circles. Let's look at the example. The first number is 50 in the purple circle, and it's given, not calculated. The second number, though, is calculated previous number 50 multiplied by 4 plus 16, and the result of this is 216. Third number is calculated as 216 multiplied by 4 plus 16 and equals 880. Now you might be wondering what is 4 and where it came from and what is 16. The 4 is number of stem lines in this structure. Let's count them 1, 2, 3 and 4. And 16 is the total number of circles. If you count them, you see four circles on the forefront, the ones that have number and missing number. And then there are also 12 circles in the background. Now we have all of this information and we can calculate the missing number. It is calculated as 880 multiplied by 4. Then we add 16 and the end result of this is 3536. So the correct answer here is choice D, 3536. Hopefully you've nailed this problem and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. But in case you need more challenges like this, please make sure to check out the description for additional resources. 
one of the most frequent questions we get on this channel is how to improve your pattern recognition skills. This is so important because it's an essential skill to help you pass an employment assessment test. Let me introduce you to the one of the most common English pattern called palindromes. Palindromes is a letter-based pattern which allows you to read the same word backwards and forwards. Let's look at some key examples of the words that used in the test. For example, words radar, civic, level, a race car, a henna, madam, noon, pop, eve, kayak, rotator, stats, tenet, wow, and a lot of others. Do you know any other, those other words, interesting palindromes that I didn't mention here? Please make sure to post them in comments so we can all learn. And now let's continue to get you ready for the test. Here's an absolutely phenomenal question, which is absolutely not obvious how to solve it. Instead of one question mark, you need to find two question marks. You're presented with three triangles. All triangles have a circle on the top. Blue triangle has three numbers inside. Starting from the top, the numbers are 3, 7, and 4. And number on the top is 6. Yellow triangle has numbers 2, 4, and 2 and there is a missing number on the top. Green triangle has numbers 5, 9, and 4, and missing number on the top. Take a close look to see if you can find two missing number and select out of four different choices. Choice A, 10 and 4. Choice B, 1 and 8. Choice C, 6 and 3. And choice D, 2 and 2. Do you know the answer? I gotta tell you, the answer is not really obvious, but I know how smart you are, and together we should be able to solve it. Are you ready? Hear me out. The pattern here is that to calculate the number on the top of the triangle, you need to use inside upper number, add it to the number on the right, and then you should subtract the left number. For example, for the blue triangle, which has all the numbers, the calculations will be 3 plus 7 minus 4 equals 6. For the green triangle, the calculations will be 5 plus 9 minus 4 equals 10. And for the yellow triangle, the calculations will be 2 plus 4 minus 2 equals 4. So the correct choice here is answer A, 10 and 4. Did you figure it out? Please make sure to post your answer, rationale and thought process in comments. I get a lot of questions on how to improve your pattern recognition skills. Let me share with you three common patterns we frequently see on the test. Let's start with triangular numbers. Triangular numbers are the numbers that can be represented as a sum of consecutive integers starting with 1. For example, the first five triangular numbers would be 1, 3, 6, 10, and 15. Next one on my list are square numbers. Square numbers are the numbers that can be represented by a product of a number multiplied by itself. For example, the first five square numbers are 1, 4, 9, 16, and 25. Because 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16, and 5 square is 25. And last but not least on my list are cube numbers. Cube numbers are numbers that can be represented as a product of a number multiplied by itself twice. For example, the first five cube numbers are 1, 8, 27, 64 and 125. Because 1 cube is 1, 2 cube is 8, 3 cube is 27, 4 cube is 64, and 5 cube is 125. Do you know any other interesting numerical patterns I did mention here? Please make sure to post them in comments so we can all learn. And now let's continue to get you ready for the test. Here's the question of intermediate complexity we frequently see on the test. You're presented with four shapes, and one shape has a missing number in the middle. You need to calculate the pattern and calculate the missing number, selecting it by one of four possible choices. Choice A, 22. Choice B, 23. Choice C, 25. And then last but not least, choice D, 24. Take a close look at the shapes and see if you can calculate the pattern. Let me share with you my logic and rationale, and obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to share in comments. I think the pattern here is that to calculate the middle number, you need to multiply the top two numbers and subtract one. 
then add the bottom number. Let's look at the first shape to confirm the logic. 2 multiplied by 3 minus 1 equals 5. 5 plus 2, which is the bottom number, equals the middle number, which is 7. Let's apply the same pattern to the shape with the missing number. 8 multiplied by 3 minus 1 equals 24 minus 1 equals 23. 23 plus 2 equals the missing number, which means that the missing number is 25. So the correct choice here is choice C, 25. Did you see any other patterns or found the better ways to solve it? Please make sure to post your answer and rationale in comments. One of the very frequent questions we get on this channel is how to improve your pattern recognition skills. One of the key ways is to use your imagination. You can use imagination to visualize items in your mind, and this is one of the most powerful techniques. Let's take a close look at the example. Here, you're required to build English business word, and you need to use all the letters only once. If you look closely and try to visualize and build the answer in your mind, you can mentally connect the letters and get to the correct answer, which is the word management. It might be hard to do it initially, but if you do crosswords and puzzles, you can improve your skills and get better at this with practice. Do you have any other interesting techniques that you can share? Please make sure to post them in comments so we can all learn. Here's an interesting question where you need to find the missing number. You're presented with the set of numbers 4, 9, 20, 8, 5, 14, 10, 3, and then comes the missing number. You need to select or calculate the missing number out of four possible choices. Choice A, 4, choice B, 11, choice C, 13, and choice D, 34. Take a close look at this 3x3 three three matrix to see if you can come up with the solution. I hope by now you have a good understanding of the problem and maybe pause this video trying to solve it because on my end I'm moving forward to share with you my version of the solution. And obviously if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. And the pattern here is that the manipulation with the left and the middle number calculate right columns number. Basically, in each row, the third number is the sum of half of the first number and two times the second number. Let's look at the specific calculations. The first row has numbers 4, 9, and 20. 4 divided by 2 plus 9 multiplied by 2 equals 2 plus 18 and equals 20, which is exactly the number in the third column. Second row contains numbers 8, 5, and 14. 8 divided by 2 plus 5 multiplied by 2 equals 4 plus 10 and equals 14. And now we are ready to calculate the missing number. 10 divided by 2 plus 3 multiplied by 2 equals 5 plus 6 and equals 11. So the correct choice here is choice B, 11. Do you have a better answer? Please make sure to share your thoughts and rationale in comments. Here is the problem for you to test your business math skills as well as attention to details. You need to calculate the value by multiplying number of coins in the cent clock by the number of dollar signs. You need to select out of four possible choices. Choice A, 190. Choice B, 200. Choice C, 210. And last but not least, choice D, 230. Once you complete the calculations, please make sure to post your answer and calculations in comments so I can give you my feedback. Thanks for participating and good luck! Here is a rather unexpected question you might frequently see on the test. You need to determine during which period revenue declined and you are presented with the profit and loss chart that covers periods from 2018 to 2024. On the chart, you see three lines representing revenue expenses and taxes. And you need to select the final answer out of four different choices. Choice A, the period between 2018 and 2020. Choice B, the period between 2019 and 2020. Choice C, the period between 2020 and 2021. And choice D, the period between 2023 and 2024. Give yourself a little bit of time, maybe pause this video to see if you can come up with the solution. I am pretty sure that by now you found it, but I am going to move forward and reveal you my version of the solution anyway. 
and if you know the better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. The way I see it is that the revenue goes down between the period of 2020 and 2021, which is represented by the blue line. In 2020, the revenue was about 9.5 units, and then in 2021, it went down to approximately 8.5 units. All other highlighted periods in the question indicate revenue increases. Did you see it differently? Please make sure to post your answer in comments. And now I have something that maybe you were not expecting. Here's the practice question for you. You need to find the missing number and you're presented with four scales. Three scales have items on the left side and the number on the right side to make them equal. And four scale only has items on the left and missing number on the right in the form of question mark. You need to calculate the question mark out of four different choices. Choice A, 60. Choice B, 65. Choice C, 70. And then last but not least, choice D, 75. Take a close look. Maybe pause this video for 10 to 15 seconds to see if you can come up with the solution. Once you're ready, please make sure to post your answer in the comments so I can give you my feedback. Thanks for participating and good luck. Here's the phenomenal question to test your spatial reasoning skills. You need to select the matching combination which fits into this object. And you need to do the selection out of four possible choices. Choices A, B, C, and D. Take a close look, maybe pause this video to see if you can find the perfect combo. Are you ready? Let me share with you my version of the solution. And I'm also going to share some tips and tricks question designers used here to confuse you. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. I believe the correct answer here is choice B. And let me explain you why. If we rearrange shapes in the answer and try to fit them in one by one, we get into the perfect fit. Let's fit the first shape, second shape, and then the third shape. Do you see how it fits perfectly? Obviously, the trick is to mentally move the shapes, trying to fit them into position until you find the correct answer. And it's hard to do it during the test. Let me show you one little trick here, how you can eliminate some of the answers. Let's look closely onto the target object. If we count all the small squares, we get to the 13 squares. Let's do that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 squares. But let's look at the choice A. Choice A has only 12 small squares, which would mean that choice A doesn't fit perfectly. Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You see how easy it is to eliminate choice 12 by just counting small squares? Another trick question designers are used is colors. If you look closely, target shapes are of a different colors just to make it harder for you to visualize and find the right set of shapes. Which means that colors do not contribute to the pattern detection. Do you know any other tricks of solving these types of challenges? Please make sure to post them in comments. And now I have a surprise question for you. For this question, I am not going to share the answer, but instead you need to be able to come up with the solution on your own and post your answer in comments. You need to find the next item in the sequence and you're presented with the sequence of three rainbows. Each object you see in the sequence has items on the top as well as squares at the bottom. And you need to select the next item in the sequence out of four different choices. Choices A, B, C, and D. Take a close look, make sure to post your answer in comments, and I'll give you my feedback. Thanks for participating and good luck. One of the questions I love the most are the ones with the missing shape. You're presented with 3x3 three three matrix. Eight of the nine matrix squares have shapes, and there is one where shape is missing. You need to find the missing shape by looking at four different choices. Choices A, B, C, and D. Please take a close look to see if you can come up with the solution. Are you ready? Because I am moving forward to share with you my version. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. Let me first add some references to the matrix. We will name columns A, B, and C, and we will name rows 1, 2, and 3. 
and you probably noticed here, but column C values represent shaded intersection of column A shapes. And considering this, column B values are just a distraction and do not influence answer in any way. For example, C1 shape is just a reflection of A1 shape with the crossed shaded areas. Same with the relationship between the C2 and A2 shapes. Considering this, the correct choice here is choice B, where triangle and square are intersecting, and there is a shaded gray area on the intersection. Do you have a better solution? Please make sure to post it in comments. Have you ever dreamed of finding the tree where money grows on the branches? Now is your opportunity. You are presented with three money trees, and the fourth one is missing. You have four different choices to choose from to find the correct money tree. Choices A, B, C, and D. Take a close look to see if you can find the right matching one. Maybe pause this video to see if you can come up with the solution. On my end, I am moving forward to share with you my version of the answer. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. Amazing problem, isn't it? But to solve it, you need to take a close look at the tree. In this picture, each tree is different based on the number of leaves, number of branches, and calculated value at the bottom of the tree. And to calculate the value, you need to multiply total number of leaves by total number of branches on the tree. For example, first tree has seven leaves and seven branches and the number at the bottom is calculated as 7 by 9 equals 63. Second tree has 9 leaves and 9 branches, and 9 multiplied by 9 equals 81. Third tree is missing, but the fourth tree has 13 leaves and 9 branches, and 13 multiplied by 9 equals 117. So to calculate the missing value on the third tree, you need to multiply 11 leaves by 9 branches and 11 multiplied by 9 equals 99. What's interesting here is that choices A, B and C all have value at the bottom of 99. But the correct choice here is only choice B. Because only choice B has 11 leaves and 9 branches and multiplying 11 by 9 equals actually 99 which matches the formula. So the correct choice here is choice B. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. Here is the family relationship question which tests your memory and analytical skills. A group of people is gathered for a dinner. Bella is a daughter of George's brother. George's brother is Jack and Jack's wife is Emily. Emily has other children because Emily is also a mother of Anna. What is the relationship between Anna and Bella? And you're presented with four different relationship choices. Choice A, their nieces. Choice B, their sisters. Choice C, their cousins. And last but not least is choice D, they are friends. Do you know the answer? Give yourself 10 to 15 seconds, maybe pause this video to see if you can come up with the solution. And on my end, I am moving forward to share with you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. The correct answer is choice B, they are sisters. But why? Let's build a diagram to demonstrate the relationships between this group of people. Let's start with the statement that George has a brother and George's brother is Jack. Jack also has a wife, Emily, and their couple, and Jack and Emily are family couple. We also know is that Bella is the daughter of George's brother, which means Bella is the daughter of Jack and Emily. We also learned that Anna is the daughter of Emily, which means Anna is daughter of Jack and Emily, which means that Bella and Anna are sisters. Do you have a better way to solve this challenge? Please make sure to post in comments. Here is the famous four square triangle question that you frequently see on the test. You are presented with four triangles. In each triangle, there is a smaller triangle which breaks it down into four parts. 
Each part has a number, and in one small triangle the number is missing. The first triangle has numbers 3, 2, 11, and number 1 in the middle. The second triangle has numbers 7, 4, 53, and then number 5 in the middle. The third triangle has numbers 11, 6, 127, and number 5 in the middle. And then there is a fourth triangle, which has the missing number, but also has numbers 15, 8, and 7. Can you take a close look to see if you can come up with the answer? One tip for you is that you do not need to guess the number, but rather you need to calculate it. And you need to select the calculated number out of four different choices. Choice A, 225. Choice B, 232. Choice C, 233. And then last but not least, choice D, 240. Take a close look to see if you can solve this challenge. Are you ready or not? Regardless, I am moving forward to share with you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. As you might have guessed, to solve this challenge, you need to find the pattern. And the pattern is that if you add the middle number and the top number inside the small triangles, then put them into the bottom left corner of the triangle, and then square the bottom left corner number and add the top number. Seems a little complicated, and it is. The best way to understand it is to look at the example. Let's look at the first triangle. 2 plus 1 equals 3. 3 square equals 9. And 9 plus 2 equals 11. Armed with this information, let's find the missing number. First, let's add 8 plus 7, top and the middle numbers. 8 plus 7 equals 15. And you can confirm this calculation by looking at 15 in the bottom left corner of the triangle. 15 square equals 225. And then based on this information, to find the missing number, we need to add 8, which is the number in the top of the triangle, plus 255, which is the calculated number. So the final number will be 233. Now let me share with you some tips and tricks on how to better solve these types of challenges. You see that the triangles are of a different color. And colors here are only to confuse you. There is no other reasons the colors should be there, so you can completely ignore them. Another trick might be, typically when you look at these types of challenges, you limit your calculations to just adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing numbers. Keep in mind that there is always a possibility of square numbers and then square root of the number. And it's good to remember squares of particular numbers, probably up to 20. This way you can manipulate them in your head without using the calculator. Do you have any other tips and tricks on how to better solve these types of challenges? Please make sure to share in comments so we can all learn. Here's an excellent question to test your math skills as well as numerical reasoning skills. You need to count all $1 bills as well as quarters. And you need to determine how much money does clerk have. You have four different choices. Choice A, $12.25. Choice B, $16.25. Choice C, $18.25. And last but not least, choice D, $21.25. Make sure to pause this video and count all the dollar bills in the air as well as coins on the ground. Give yourself 15 to 20 seconds to see if you can come up with the solution. I did my counting. Did you do yours? Let me explain you my version of the solution. And if you have a different answer, please make sure to post in comments. I counted 12 $1 bills as well as 25 quarters. Let me count them all for you. Let's start with the dollar bills. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now let's do the same thing for the quarters. Let's start with the left side, which has 15 quarters. One. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And now let's do the same thing, but for the right side, which has 10 quarters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And now we are ready to do the math. Obviously, 12 $1 bills is $12. 15 quarters 
is three dollars and seventy-five cents. Ten quarters is two fifty. Twelve dollars plus two fifty plus three seventy-five equals eighteen twenty-five. Did you count differently? Do you have a different answer? Please make sure to post your solution in comments. Here is an amazing question which truly tests your analytical skills. You are presented with four sets of 3x3 three three matrices. Each matrix has nine numbers. And in matrix 4, there are three missing numbers that you need to calculate. You are presented with four different choices. Choice A, missing numbers might be 54, 68 and 105. Choice B, missing numbers might be 55, 78 and 97. Choice C is represented by the numbers 69, 80 and 115. And then choice D is 74, 88 and 125. Give yourself a little bit of time, maybe 20 to 30 seconds by pausing this video to see if you can come up with the solution. And as usual, I am moving forward to reveal you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. I think it's very obvious and you probably recognize the pattern that's happening here. Numbers are calculated based on the formula. If we break down the matrix into columns A, B and C and then add numbers to the rows 1, 2 and 3, the formula can be summarized as B1 is calculated as A1 multiplied by 3 and C1 is calculated as B1 minus 4. So to calculate the missing numbers in row 1, we need to multiply 18 by 3, which would equal 54, and then 54 minus 4 equals 50. For row 2, the calculations will be 24 multiplied by 3 equals 72, and then 72 minus 4 equals 68. And last but not least, row 3 is calculated as 35 multiplied by 3 equals 105, and 105 minus 4 equals 101. So the correct answer is choice A, 54, 68, and 105. Here is an amazing question which tests your analytical skills. You are presented with the set of diamonds. Each diamond has other objects inside. And you need to find the missing diamond, which is diamond number 4. You have four different choices to choose from. Choices A, B, C and D. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the right solution. Are you ready? Do you have the answer? Let me move forward and share with you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. As with a lot of other questions, the key to answer this question is to detect the pattern. If you look closely, you will see the diamonds filled with the arrowheads, triangles, which are moving in a different direction. The direction of the arrowheads rotates 90 degrees clockwise with every next shape in the pattern. For example, in the first shape, they move to the 12 o'clock position of the clock. Then they move to the 3 o'clock position and then to the 6 o'clock. So if you detected this pattern in the missing shape, the arrowheads should be at the 9 o'clock position. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. Here's one of my favorite questions where you present it with the sequence of shapes and you need to find the next shape in the sequence. What's unusual about this shape is that they resemble the molecules with electrons floating around the molecule and atom in the middle. You have four different choices to choose the missing shape. Choices A, B, C and D. Take a close look to see if you can find the missing shape. What you might consider doing is maybe pausing this video to see if you can look closely at the picture to have a better opportunity to find the missing shape. And on my end, I am moving forward to share with you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. Let's look closely at the shape here. The shape consists of small spheres and the number of spheres increases with every shape. First shape has one sphere, second shape has two spheres and third shape has three spheres. So we can reasonably conclude that the fourth and missing shape will have four spheres. 
Well, this is not much help here, because if you look at the choices A, B, C, and D, they all have four small spheres. So our next step here to solve this challenge is to look at the bottom number. And to solve it, you need to find the formula to calculate the bottom number based on the incrementing number of spheres. For example, the formula to do bottom number calculation is 4 multiplied in parentheses number of spheres squared plus 1. So to calculate the bottom value for the first shape, we need to multiply 4 in parentheses 1 squared plus 1, which would be equal 8. For second shape, 4 multiplied in parentheses 1 plus 1 squared, which is 2 squared, which equals 4, plus 1 equals 4 multiplied by 5 equals 20. For the third shape, we need to multiply 4 in parentheses 3 squared plus 1 equals 4 multiplied by 10 equals 40. So to calculate the bottom number for the missing shape, we need to multiply 4 in parentheses 4 squared plus 1 equals 4 multiplied 16 plus 1, 4 multiplied by 17 equals 68. This is why the correct choice here is choice C with bottom number 68. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. Here's an amazing question to test your math skills. You need to determine how much money does clerk have. If you take a close look at the picture, you see that clerk is in the possession of dollar bills as well as the quarters. He is juggling dollar bills in the air and has quarters on the ground. Your answer will be one out of four different choices. Choice A, $12.25. Choice B, $16.25. Choice C, $18.25. And last but not least, choice D, $21.25. Please pause this video if necessary, do your counting, and post your answer in comments. This would allow me to give you my feedback. Thanks for participating and good luck! One of my favorite questions is where you need to calculate the missing value. You're presented with three equations, and in fourth equation, the result is missing. The first equation is 23 multiplied by blue parrot plus red parrot equals 41. Second equation, 19 plus blue parrot plus blue parrot equals 31. Third equation is 10 multiplied by blue parrot plus red parrot equals 72. And last but not least expression is 26 plus red parrot multiplied by blue parrot equals missing value. You need to select missing value out of four possible choices. Choices A, 83. Choice B, 90. Choice C, 98. And choice D, 107. Take a close look to see if you can calculate the answer. And on my end, I am moving forward to share with you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments so we can all learn. For simplicity, let's create variables. We will use B for blue parrot and we will use R for red parrot. So the first step here is to create and solve an expression. And the easiest one to solve is the second expression with two blue parrots. 19 plus b plus b equals 31, which means that 2b equals 31 minus 19, which equals 12. Once we solve it, we see that b blue parrot equals 6. Knowing the value for blue parrot, we can solve first expression. 23 plus b plus r equals 41 which means that 23 plus 6 plus missing variable r equals 41. After the calculations, r equals 41 minus 29 equals 12. Technically, we don't even need a third expression, because having first and second expression allows us to solve both variables. But let's use third expression to verify that our calculations are correct. 10 multiplied by blue parrot b plus red parrot r equals 10 multiplied by 6 plus 12. 10 multiplied by 6 equals 60. 60 plus 12 equals 72. Now it's time to calculate the missing number. 26 
plus red parrot multiplied by blue parrot equals 26 plus 12 multiplied by 6 equals 26 plus 72 equals 98. So the correct answer is choice C, 98. Hopefully you've nailed this question on your own and now know how to solve similar problems on the test. Thanks for watching. If the content was helpful, please give us a like and consider subscribing. This is the way for you to tell us that you need more content like this and we'll make sure to deliver it for you in the future. For links and resources referenced in this video, please check the description. You can also go directly to our website howtoanalyzedata.net to find what you're looking for and download the materials. We really thank you for your endorsement, support and patronage of this channel. Please leave feedback, suggestions or corrections in comments. And all the best on your journey. I'll see you in my next video.